in this video i'll be showing you how to proofread your content with your smartphone you know um, i'll be showing you how to proofread how to edit so if you want to become a proofreader you should watch this video or if you're a content writer and you need to be able to proofread your work and you don't even have a laptop you need to watch this video because that is what i'm about to show you right now and to proofread our work we'll be using a an application you probably know it it's called grammarly so grammarly is available for android users originally grammarly was a software uh, that was only available for people using pc you know but now they have been able to create a free application for android users so there is a free plan you don't have to pay to use the free plan um it's available on play store if you just search for grammarly uh grammarly app you'd, you'd see it you'd see grammarly so um it's available you can just easily download it um that that's it so once you have grammarly on your uh your phone what you need to do is um you open your application the grammarly and you sign up now i've already signed up that's why i can have access to all this information and tools here but if you are using it for the first time you just have to sign up it's a very very simple process it's not difficult at all it's not difficult at all to sign up it's very very easy um it's very easy to sign up so um that's it so once you sign up you'll be able to integrate your um um your google your grammarly to your keyboard you'll be able to make it your keyboard because basically the grammarly works by um scanning your text to see if there are if there are any errors and all that so for instance look at this um i have about three to four keyboards here i have the english us android keyboard application i have the google keyboard i have the google voice typing and i have grammarly so i'll choose grammarly so if you are just using grammarly for the first time you have to click on grammarly so grammarly becomes your keypad so anything you type grammarly scans it for errors so let me give you an example let's go and try to prefer the content right now um let me say uh let's let's say let's do this Although these are contents I have proofread already. I'm trying to look for something I have not proofread. Uh, what do I do now? Uh, okay. I think this would not be bad. This Let me use this. So this is um, uh, an academic paper I wrote for someone. Um, a student. So I want to proofread this. So click on keyboard and then turn on your data and, and once there's network grammarly works you see so if you see it right here on the left hand you know it's scanning all the errors in the content so you click on it to see all the errors it's scanning and then you'll be able to make all the corrections all the necessary um corrections now but there's one thing you need to understand about grammarly you know grammarly it works like a robot in fact it's a robot and you need to understand that robots might not robots you know they tend to have this accuracy but sometimes that accuracy is not what you need so there are times in your content where sorry about that like i was saying there are times in your content you know where um what you have written um i have a different context from what grammarly wants you know so um uh, uh for instance you can be writing something as as simple as this for instance you can say um 
promise is something I mean, can just see a uh, promise is um, a gift that I want and love now <coughs> you can see Grammarly wants us to add an article to this word promise like a promise or the promise and now saying a saying just saying promise is also correct you know it's it's also correct grammar grammatically but you know this grammarly is so strict that it wants to put an article uh, before it so those, those are the things you have to you know look out for when you are um, um when you are this, um, uh, proofreading your work with grammarly um so in case you don't want to use grammarly or you are using an iphone um, i think you can actually use their other um softwares to um, correct your grammar and spelling errors online some are not even applications some are websites um so um you can just search for grammarly alternatives grammarly alternatives and you can see there are so many grammarly alternatives right here we have uh, we have grammarly look up the com you know we have pro writing aid we have uh, sentence checkup.com it's free we have white smoke um we have jetpack you know grammarly free version we have hemingway and uh language tool so all these are free grammarly alternatives that you can use just in case you are not comfortable you know we using grammarly you know um that's it so you know one thing about proofreading a work is you also have you, you don't have to be completely dependent on the um on the application you are using the software because sometimes the software can be wrong just like i just explained so you need to have eye for details you need to pay attention to details when proofreading your work because there are times i've used grammarly to proofread my work and sometime later i went back to that same content and i still found errors so in as much as you are using grammarly on your phone um to proofread your work you must make sure that you have eye for detail you know um uh, you have to make sure that you are seeing everything you are doing to make sure you are not um proofreading something that would end up having errors later on and so i haven't said that please i still want to remind you to subscribe to this channel um you know give this video a thumbs up um, um drop a comment if you have any questions to ask me if you have anything to add to what i just did in this video you can use the comment section to talk to me as soon as i see your message i'm gonna to respond to you i'm gonna send you a response and then you have to subscribe it's important you subscribe and i'll be telling you the reason why you have to subscribe now um when you're subscribed to this channel you'll be able to have access to two new videos every single day because on this channel we publish videos every day two videos every day so for those who are subscribed they will be notified when these videos are published <laughs> so if you are not subscribed you have to be subscribed so whenever i publish these videos you would be notified and also turn on the notification bell as well on this channel what we do is to teach you how to make the most of your smartphone you know how to make your smartphone very very useful because some people do not even know that their smartphone has a lot of potential you know so um but we change the narrative here on this channel by teaching you how to do amazing things with your smartphone so if you want to get all that knowledge you know all that information make sure 
you are subscribed to the channel um thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video